Welcome to the Church Collective Podcast. In this episode, we are going to listen to the second part of our conversation with Mariah and Carlos from Mosaic MSC. Here we go. So you've, you guys have only been back for four months. Okay, about, I think like about six months. Yeah. We, I don't, I, I mean, I can't keep track of time. Um, we started, we were closed for, for over a year, right? Over a year. LA was like, you couldn't meet couldn't even go out for at least yeah. a year yeah. so yeah. we started doing like small gatherings um of like less than 100 um you know because we didn't there were a lot of like if you go over 100 they'll turn off your water or like place will come or whatever you know and we didn't know what was going on or like the legitimacy of all of those things and so we did like small groups we called them houses mosaic houses and that was a really cool thing too, you know, yeah. like really special for what it was, and especially after a year of not seeing anyone. And then, yeah, probably like it was definitely before Christmas, yeah. of like actually being able to like meet. But even we couldn't say until recently that we were like officially open because you couldn't yeah. officially open. Wow. And so recently, in the last like three weeks, everything's open now. So, Dang, that's crazy. I was at Calvary Chapel doing a conference at the end of last year and I just remember thinking how different like west coast and east coast like regulations are it's crazy yeah. and you were you were in coverage chapel they're in Orange County and that's completely different than LA Orange County is like a different like world like a different world like they would have no masks and you know yeah. you go 20 minutes up the freeway and you can't go outside you know like yeah yeah, because we were going back and forth, you know, going to like stores in LA and I was so confused with everything, you know, yeah. like it was crazy. It was, yeah, even just like we went recently to Nashville and you know, we're able to share our album with some people and just even sharing the experience of LA, like it felt like what? Yeah. Like yeah. our church shut down for like four we, days, yeah. you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, but like, like, and we were just shocked even like okay we're realizing that like this was a completely isolated like California experience you know in some different places like New York and stuff but right. it was very different than most of the most of the world it's crazy what um crazy. you mentioned like church is church is different now which I think we all feel um mm -hmm. and I'm just I'm like really interested in like what I'm earth is the lord doing like what what's church going to be like like what what's your guys sense now that we're back you know what what's good what's bad what should we be repeating and what should we leave we be leaving behind <laughs> yeah i mean we just sort of decided to like change everything you know like from yeah. like our you know like a lot of like contemporary churches and cities like our auditorium was black and there were all like sorts LED of like walls led and, walls and like lights, amazing which we lights. had to like oh yeah no yeah like that's exactly what our service was like you know and we had like yeah. a normal size stage with like all of this stuff you know like and it was so good for that time and uh, yeah i mean it, you know i'm not saying anything bad about it because that's what we did yeah. you know for years and years and years and church online for mosaic was so good <laughs> like it was wow. such a good time and people were so engaged which really wasn't what we were expecting yeah so we we just like when we were going back we were like this has to be better mm -hmm. you know this has to be better than we were and it has to be better than the the ease and like the quality of being able to just watch church online and it be a great experience yeah. we have an amazing like production team and tech team and all of that so they you know we spent a year and a half like putting all of our staff's energy into making church online incredible you know right and so we just painted the entire we ripped the stage out of the wall we took all of the lights out of the auditorium the screen we put windows oh. in we took the screen out we painted everything white, white. oh wow we <laughs> We have a stage that's about half a foot from the floor. 
Um, and it's just like, we sort of ditched to like the trying to make everything feel like the most perfect thing, yeah. you know, just like, we want you to feel a lightness and a peace when you come in here and a human like experience yeah. and not a human experience from like the consumer, like the person that's experiencing it, but from each person that's on stage, like there's no barrier between you and I, this is as human as it gets and as imperfect yeah. as it gets. Wow. And, you know, I think we, we pride ourselves in excellence in a lot of ways. And for us, that just looked like being more human, Yeah. you know, and caring less about the transition between the speaker and the band Yeah. <laughs> and sort of being able to make everything have a more human essence to to it you know yeah. and um it's a different even now being in the rhythm of doing Sundays every week it's hard to go back it's hard to not go back into the old way of like let's make everything just like seamless and perfect yeah. but we're trying to ask the question of like what's what pulls people in you know what makes people experience Jesus more you know let's take away all take away all of the the barriers let's just make this as simple as possible yeah i think wow. like i said what it came to because like um, mariah and i would both um you know like we do msc and we write and do all these things with with our worship team but we also are part of our pastoral team here and and we help build our our worship team in our hollywood location and also in our pasadena location and we have campuses in other places too um but i think that we had during the pandemic, um, we realized that not everyone, everyone was at a different place. You know, like people that we thought they were doing great, we realized that they were not doing yeah. maybe that good. We had a ton of people that moved from the city and they moved back to with their parents. Um, yeah, we, you know, like it, it kind of like it, everything changed and we kind of had to like made like Got, we got to a place that we had to realize that, hey, like, we got to start from scratch and sign from scratch. It means that we're not assuming that anyone is good. You know, we're, we're assuming that we're all dealing with our own things and that we have, we all have to, we all have to figure out our relationship with Jesus yeah. before anything else. And we kind of like stripped down even our, 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 I would say like our worship ministry, like we, like we went back, okay, like, let's. Everyone's who do we have? Over. <laughs> yeah, let's start over. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, who who do we have? Who can sing? How are you doing? You know, how's yeah. your life? How's your relationship with Jesus? How's yeah. your relationship with your wife? And let's go. And we started from there. Yeah. And then, like, even on Sunday, still, like, our our worship gathering was not necessarily like, oh, like let's do, do this like full band and like elaborated sets. Yeah. We like if we have a keyboard player and two vocalists, that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna yeah. go ease easy into it, and then we're gonna start building based on not on on the expectation of creating amazing music, but more on the expectation of having a healthy team. Yes. And I feel like now after like six months, like I can you know like we can say that we're at a yeah. much better place, and um, we kind of we're finding a good groove and a good rhythm yeah. where I feel like our character is there but also like we're you know there's a lot of like talented people that have great character too and i don't know we're also we're also a family so like we we get to like work together a lot and like learn from each other a lot and i feel like um i don't know we're moving it, it's the future feels very exciting right now but it is because that like if you look back a couple months ago or a year ago it was it was very hard yeah yeah my um man, I got so many. I'm just like furiously writing questions to bounce to bounce off of this. <laughs> I'd, lo I'd love to hear like to say church online was so good. I don't think I've heard anyone talked about talk about church online like that. It was always like let's get back to what it yeah. was. Um, maybe like tactically, what did that look like? Like what was so? What did you guys do that was so great? Like what what was awesome about it? Yeah, I mean, like I said, like we put all our energy into that so we'd you know like probably want I'm trying to think it feels like a distant memory that I've buried in never <laughs> but <laughs> it is like we every month I think or like every couple months we'd shoot worship 
Yeah. So like we for, for, for church online and for the eight for the two months. Okay. Yeah. So we do it for like we'd have different sets, like sort of in like theme, like almost like a series, but not so much talking, more like in in like theme and style. Yeah. So like we'd have a set, we do worship for two months. So like, you know, however many songs we literally shoot all day. And then we have like, basically our team would edit all the vocals, all the music and basically make it as good as we possibly could, which is right. awesome because like, like we really struggled with like live stream stuff when we were in person Yeah, because it's like not, it's hard to make live stream sound good, especially when you're like directly doing it, you're watching in real time. Right. And so, you know, we were excited to be able to make this like an experience you really wanted to listen to and and worship with, you know, and then and there were many iterations of that, like throughout the year and a half, like we did it, you know, on iPhones when we were super locked down. I think a lot of, you know, a lot of different places did that, which is is awesome. And it it worked super well, especially when we're all isolated, you know, which was the hardest thing I've literally ever done, like yeah, having so to like. Hard film myself and then sing the entire song and yeah. make sure it was plugged into logic and all of this stuff like <laughs> um you know so we would do that for like two months and then we'd have basically our entire team would like do messages you know like I did a couple I think you, I think you did one Andy did one like everyone would shoot messages so we'd all just have to be repaired at any time and they basically just shot like I want to say like 60 messages or something like wow so every week would just be a new thing specifically for the people online that's awesome and so it was just like we just tried to make it i think for us too it was like we want to be able to like go to church yeah you know like we want to be able to like engage in that yeah and so we want to get something that was like that kept people you know that like kept the people that we had but also engaged people that don't live in LA, which yeah. is what we ended up seeing happen anyways, was like people from all over the world, more so than even LA, ended up engaging in it and being like regulars. Wow. And so we had teams that would be on the chats, teams that would, you know, respond to emails. We had like Bible studies and groups and, you know, all throughout the week. But, you know, we had team nights via youtube and you know like we did lots of stuff but i feel like it was mostly just like our team putting all the energy and it was super exhausting you know especially like right. learning a new yeah. having like our editors having to edit like constantly for a year and a half like yeah, right. it's just a hard job you know um but it really like created and it almost was hard like when we went back in person like what are we supposed to do because <laughs> we have all of these thousands of people that are not in la that you can't you know, that we, if we put, if we abandon this outlet and just put all of our energy into like physical church, we've lost an entire like congregation throughout yeah. the world. That's a great and thought. So, you know, it's, it's, it was a unique pivot, you know, like we didn't go fully in it. I don't think until like six months in yeah. when wow. we were able to like actually come and to work, like that's when I think we were like, okay, we got to make this the best experience, yeah, yeah. you know? And yeah. so it was a lot. Wow. <laughs> it, is there, but, is know, there a balance? Not- yeah. I, I was going to say, is there a balance now? Like it, it seems like the expectation might be really, really high. So if you're trying to do this physical stuff, like what are you, what are you doing now with that? We're doing both. Like we're doing, yeah. we're doing our normal on the gathering and then, we film stuff like we're filming our Sundays, Sunday worship. And that's what we use for, um, for, for the online. And then also like the message from Sunday, we also film it and, and we edit it and it's produced just it. It's everything we're using Sunday content, but it's produced for, um, an online experience. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Like we have, yeah. we have our own like host, that they film specifically for our online community. And they have like different announcements and, and different ways of um, getting people to engage yeah. with what's happening online. That is, that's like the part that, that it's like drastically different um, from also we're live in person. Yeah, so yeah. We, we basically like practically shoot everything on a Sunday and then release it the week, the week after. Yeah, just to give yourself time. So basically to like, live, yeah. That's like, yeah. yeah, so it's still like 
live stream in a way, but it's, you know, we're able to like edit the music, um, yeah. make it sound super good, make sure that, you know, talk is all like sounds good and looks good and all that. Right. Are you guys thinking about like the, it's so different to like lead people in worship that you're basically not ever seeing, like, a, like maybe speak a little bit to what you're thinking as you're recording, like how much is that going across your mind? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good, I, don't, I, don't, I personally don't, don't know if I have an answer to that. Like I feel it's so interesting when you are, when you're recording worship for like online and there's no people. Cause I mean, in my experience, it's, it just, it, it, it takes more work to not put yourself, to not be too self-conscious about what you're doing. Cause there's no, there's no response or it's not um, reaction to what you're doing. So like, it's a little easier to like get in your head and be like, Oh, am I singing the right note? Like, do I look good? Like all this like natural things that, you know, can come to our minds. Um, but I think I just like seeing, seeing how far our music and how far our, our what we produce for Sunday has been able to go. Like I would, I was part of the team that kind of helped manage. We had like over 200 houses around the world. And just like being in contact with them and, and seeing how how impactful um, was everything that we were doing for them, I think it was it was it was very special. And I think I, even like for us, it's like you know, like I'm, I I want people to connect to worship, but that's also just one aspect of of what the Sunday experience is. You know, like as yeah. much as I want people to connect through worship, I want them to give their life to Jesus. You know, more than anything else. You know, I want them to respond Great. to the message. I, I want them to feel um encouraged to be more generous you know like it is i'm i'm pumped to be part of of, of doing a little bit of what god is doing yeah and and as a, as a whole as part of the whole yeah i think too like one thing even just like when we're in the room the idea of like not getting so swept up in your own personal like world do you know what yeah. i mean like I feel like a lot of times in worship, it's easy to be like, oh, this is really speaking to me. I don't know why your thing keeps putting up. Do you guys see that? I got a thumbs up. That's awesome. <laughs> it just keeps doing it on its own. I do want, is this something related to this? Like, maybe like when you see the hand. Maybe. I don't oh, know. Maybe. That, was, that was the first time I've seen it on this end. But yeah, that was it just, awesome. Is we it? get, yeah, <laughs> on our side, we get, we and saying like oh your hands is gonna raise in 10 seconds like something <laughs> like that <laughs> um okay <laughs> but i but yeah like getting swept up in your own emotion and your own your own like worship which i think is obviously a big part of worship leading is being able to connect to jesus and be able to like translate that but there is a line where you're so wrapped up in your own encounter that it no longer translate to the collective mm. whole. Mm. And so I think it's the same way, like doing that for online, even like, even though it's just, you know, filmed now and we post it, like being able to remember that you're pulling people in. Yeah. You're not just like doing a show. Yeah. Right. It's not like just watch me encounter Jesus and maybe you'll see what it's like. <laughs> it's like, let me, you know, like, Right. let's do this together and so i think it's the same even translating and it was super hard doing it like in a studio you know like feeling super self-conscious like do i look good on camera do, do i sound good <laughs> like what happened like this feels like way more intense than being on stage but just being able to always have that in mind of like okay i'm pulling people in like i need to also i need to have my own encounter with jesus yeah. and my own relationship but i also need to be able to translate that in a way that pulls people in yeah are you guys um planning to take this album like out on the road are you going to be doing festivals this summer or are you going to be doing live stuff we're doing one festival what's it called let me see let me see, let me see what it's called I don't remember what it's called, but it's, we're doing one in July, a couple of things in July that we've had scheduled for like years. Honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we, it's been a while since we've been in any of that. Yeah. So we're hoping to, you know, we don't have any plans to do that, but 
I mean, one thing that's really awesome is that I just feel like we're in the best position to do that and for our church to be in the best hands. Like we have like the healthiest people that we've ever had and like yeah. some of the cool things going on. And it's just really exciting, especially, you know, be, us being here through so many different seasons to know that like when that opportunity comes like to tour again or to, to travel, like that our church is getting the best of the best, even when people are gone and traveling. And so, yeah. you know, we hope that we'll do her soon. I'm so. ready. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Did you guys, are you guys both from LA originally? I am. She is. I am. Um, I was born and raised in um, Puerto Rico and I've been in LA for 10 years. Okay. I'm like totally shifting the conversation, but like, what do you guys like to do in LA? Like as locals? <laughs> no, I love it. It's like our favorite question. <laughs> we love I go there a lot, but you know, I, you I do? like being a tourist there. Yeah. Um, well, next time, we, next time that you come, we got to send, us. Send, us, send us a text too. Um, we love coffee. Um, we love coffee. going to eat. It's pretty much always. <laughs> I love going to the beach. Do you like going to the beach? Not really. Right. I love going to Malibu. Like, we'll go to Malibu a lot to eat burritos, eat burritos, burritos. and sit on the beach. And, like, my husband will surf, even though he's terrible at it. And, (laughs) you know, that's like definitely Malibu is like the, I think if you're, there's definitely way nicer beaches in Orange County. So if you go there often, like, that's definitely where to go. But Malibu is super cool. And, and chill and lots of farmers markets and yeah there's not like a lot of places to walk like most cities you know like yeah it's like you could just walk around this area but abbot kinney is one that we love yeah. going to like even locals go there all the time not just tourists right. so yeah we pretty much just like eat all the time we're good like, we're you guys just have have like the best of everything like the best you know, boutique sh- clothing shops and shoe stores. And stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just like heaven. <laughs> We've got some good it shoe is, stores. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty fun. We're spoiled. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of the podcast. Make sure to connect with us over on Instagram. TikTok is where we spend a lot of our time. We cannot wait to see you over there.